make the big game look and sound even better at Buy Clever Stuff. Proud sponsors of Chester FC TV. The joint managers know anything but a win tonight is not an option if they are to remain in the playoff hunts and come up against the Blythe Spartan side like the Blues struggling for form with only one win in the league since the turn of the year. Despite the run of form for the Spartans, they'll be encouraged after their late heroics at Croft Park at the weekend, which saw them pick up a priceless point against Kidderminster Harriers in their quest to be in the playoffs come the end of the season. Marm now, space in front of him on his left. We've got Matty Waters bursting down the left side to get beyond him. Waters does well, cuts it back. Marm goes for goal and it's straight at Jameson. Good turn again from Dale. He's got Holmes in front of him. Holmes. Looking like he's in the coming side. And does. Good one-two between him and Maguire. Goes across goal. It's still there to be won. And Chester just about survive. <laughs> On to Mooney. Chester now looking to bring it forward. Can they create anything here? Mooney. He's got Jackson outside of him if he wants it. Ball does end up at Jackson's feet. In the end, it's not been dealt with. And that could have gone anywhere off Lewis Lang. It's a scuffed clearance from the centre back. Dale does well to win it. Reed feeds Holmes up against Jackson. Got a couple of people in front of him to aim for. And he just about got it in, but it was cleared away by Housen. And Burton can bring it away for Chester. Got a number of men coming forward now as the ball finds Mooney. Waring looking to make that run and he's fed in Dudley. Dudley through on goal. Great save from P. Jameson. That's the best chance Chester have had all game and it's not over yet. And it falls nicely to Waters. Waters still going. In the end concedes the free kick. Flicked on well by Waring. It was chested on even. Burton spreads it wide to Jackson Waring calling for it still Jackson has a great ball through for Marn Marn with the goal there Marn finds the net Craig Marn with his second goal in three games and that could be a decisive goal in the context of Chester's season Great finish from the Irishman. And that's his fourth goal in the National League. Fifth of the season. Two people at the peak of their fitness. Roberts taking the free kick nicely. Finds Waring. Waring! Waring makes it two. Well, it all seemed quite easy for Chester, and they get their second goal. Roberts with the free kick wafted into the box. Great strength from Waring to hold the ball up, and he puts it nicely across Pete Jameson. Just about headed by Watson, who may have just hurt himself in the process. Dale bringing it forward now on to Reed. Maguire, Dale making the run beyond him. Jackson holding him up well. And Maguire goes for goal. Well, that's the extent of the opportunities that Maguire's had. He's had to really feed off scraps in this game. And, and the referee brings the game to an end. And Chester, it's been a hard-fought game for the Blues. But they have come out on top tonight in an important game for them if they are to keep their playoff hopes alive. Two goals in the final seven minutes for Chester from Craig Mann, who managed to be played through by Bradley Jackson and a free kick from Gary Roberts that was curled in by George Waring. 
have given Chester a 10th home win of the season and a first clean sheet since January 5th 